Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to go on an indoor fitness, cardio, and stretching adventure. And we will focus on three really cool sports. Swimming, soccer, and running. Yes, we can do all those three sports indoors. When we have a chance to go outdoors, then we can use our skills indoors to become even better at these sports. We're going to do some cardio exercises, ab exercises, and stretching. And these exercises are good for kids, they're good for parents, they're good for all ages. And if you ever feel tired during any of these exercises, feel free to stop the video and start up again if you can and feel comfortable doing so. Also, I recommend having a bottle of water or glass of water nearby and make sure to just take breaks when you need them. All right, let's have some fun. And we're gonna start off by doing some swimming strokes in the air and that's just gonna be our warm up. So we're gonna start with the crawl stroke, also known as freestyle. I'll show you what it looks like on the side. We're gonna have a little scooping shape with our hand. We're gonna scoop through the air with this arm and do the same with the other arm. And we're gonna alternate arms. So imagine that we're in the water, we're in a swimming pool with lots of fun people around. We have our own lane now and we're focused on our stroke and making it to the other wall and then turning around. Ready, let's go for a total of 20. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're in a race, a little bit faster. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. And of course, when you're in the water, the stroke is gonna look a little bit different but this is a good exercise for warm up and for our purposes today of getting the motion of the stroke and getting a good warm up for our body. Great job with the first swimming stroke, the crawl or freestyle. We have two more swimming strokes to go. All right, the next one we're gonna do is a backstroke. So we're gonna also have our hands in a little cup position and then do the reverse from what we were doing before. So. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on this arm. And then this arm. And then we're also gonna do 20 total. So 10 at normal speed and 10 faster. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10 faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Nice job. A third stroke we're gonna do is the breast stroke, which looks like this. And for all these strokes, we're mostly focusing on what our arms are doing, not really our heads. Our heads do play an important role in swimming, but we're just focusing on our arms right now for these strokes. So again, the breast stroke is like this. And let's do this for 20. First 10 regular speed and then 10 fast speed. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Ten faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. We did three swimming strokes. That's so great. Next, we're gonna work on our knees. And then we're gonna hold on to our knees like this. Have our feet shoulder width apart a little bit more narrow than that. And then do ten circles one way. 10 the other way. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go the opposite way for ten. Normal speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Now we are going to do some flutter kicks on our stomach and then on our back. I'll show you what those look like. The alligator is going to join us for the flutter kicks. These next exercises are known as core or ab exercises. These ab or abdominal muscles are good for the muscles around our stomach. They'll help keep us strong for swimming and lots of other sports as well. We lay on the floor, or if we have a mat on the floor, that's great too, whichever works out for you. And then we're first gonna lay on our stomach, we turn around, and then hands at our side, and watch my feet. I'm gonna lift my feet up, up and down, just like I'm swimming, flutter kick. So we're gonna do that for 20. So 10, Normal to begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And ten like a shark is chasing after us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. I think we evaded the shark. Now we're going to turn around and do something similar on our back. Alligator is gonna hang out with me here. We're gonna do 10 regular and then 10 speeding away from the shark. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. That was a harder one. That helped with our core muscles. All right, next. I'm gonna put the alligator back down. And I'm gonna put the bunny next to me. I'm not sure if bunnies can swim. Has anyone ever seen a bunny swim? Anyways, the bunny's gonna join us for these next exercises. We're gonna work on crunches. And crunches, like that last exercise with the flutter kicks on our back, helps us get good and strong core muscles. And core muscles are important for swimming, running in soccer, general life and for so many different sports. Let's go do the crunches. I'll show you what they look like. Here is Bunny. I'm gonna have my hands right resting up on the back of my head and then gently lift up about six to eight inches and then go back down. I'm lifting up just so I feel a little bit of movement and a um, little bit of activity in my core. I want to feel like my core is working. So that's the bottom of my stomach. And we're going to do 10 of these starting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. And we're going to do 10 more starting now. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Now we're gonna do ten sit-ups. So sit-ups, we're gonna we have different variations, but the variation I like to do is with my hands crossed on my chest like this, and then I lift all the way up to my knees. Let's do ten of these. Ready? Go. One. Oh no, bunny. Bunny's okay. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Nice job. And now we're going to do another swimming exercise to help with movement and our core again. We can really imagine that we're swimming with this next exercise. You'll see. So we're going to lay on our stomach. 
and hug arms out like Superman. Our legs out too, and then we're gonna raise our opposite hand and arm with our opposite foot. So it will look like this. See, my left arm is up and my right leg is up. Then I put those back down, and then I lift my right arm at the same time and my left leg at the same time. So it will look like this. Let's do this for a count of 10. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And like a shark is chasing us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Now let's do a plank hold. There's different ways to hold a plank. Previously, we've held the plank like this, and there's also a way to hold the plank like this, with our arms straight. We've done that too, I think, as well. So let's hold a plank with our arms straight, and then our back and rest of the body relatively straight as well. Let's do this for 20 seconds, starting now. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can always take a break if you need to. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nice job. Great job with everything so far. Now we're gonna do some soccer drills. And for soccer, we want to focus on explosive movements, meaning fast movements, and going fast when we can, but also building up those leg muscles and being strong and quick on the field. Let's choose a friend to do our soccer exercises with. Let's choose Skeleton Bear. We're gonna start with some squats. I'm gonna show you what they look like from the side. making sure our bottom is pretty far down, just like this. And then let's do 10 of these squats. So we're gonna focus on having a slow movement on the way down, so slow, 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 and explosive on the way up, meaning a little bit faster. Let's do this for 10. Ready, go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Now we're going to think about that same explosiveness and use that to think about the next exercise we're going to do, which is squat with a jump, just like this. Slower and then jump up. Again, slow and then jump up. Remember, explosiveness helps us with that power so we can be strong and quick on the field. I'll show you what they look like on the side. Slow, jump up. Slow, jump up. On the other side. Slow, jump up. Slow, jump up. We're gonna do that for 10. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Try to land softly on our feet. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Now we're going to do some lunges. We've done those before. Again, they look like this. We can have our hands on our hips, our hands down at our sides. I think it's a little bit easier for me to balance when my hands are at my hips. Let's do 10 of these. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. So that really helps build our leg muscles. The next movement kind of follows the progression we made with the last set of exercises with the jumps that we did, which were kind of like a frog jump. We're gonna jump with our lunges. I'll show you what they look like from the side. So lunging and then switching our legs like this. We can also do a variation. This is a really high jump and sometimes it takes a while to get used to. So if you're not super comfortable yet with jumping from lunge to lunge, just focus on the regular lunge for now. That's totally fine. That's a great workout still. So if you can and feel comfortable, let's do this exercise. We're going from lunge to lunge in a jumping format. I'll show you what it looks like on this side. Let's do it for 10. Let's add a friend this time. Squirrels are fast, so let's do it with squirrel. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. For these next exercises, imagine you're in your favorite place to play soccer. Maybe you're in a big field with lots of friends, or maybe you're in a smaller park, maybe you're at school or somewhere else, or maybe you dream of playing in the major league someday. Wherever you are, wherever, whatever game you play, a lot of players are expected to warm up before the game. So warm up is super important for playing soccer or pretty much any sport out there. For the next exercise, we're gonna do some squats touching the ground. We're gonna look like this. And that's gonna focus on our flexibility with our hips and our legs and really help us get a good warm up that we can use for soccer games later on. Let's do it for 10, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Now we're going to do a similar exercise with hot dog. Do it on one leg. One leg exercises really help us with even more balance and are a good challenge for our brains. If you're comfortable just staying with two feet for now though, that's totally great as well. It's going to look like this. If it's feeling really difficult to do it on one leg, we can definitely go back to two legs and just work on this. That's a great variation as well. I'll show you what it looks like on the side. We're trying to keep our chest a little bit up. We do want to touch the ground, so it's going to stick down a little bit at the end. On the other leg, it's going to look like this. Doing it all while balancing the hot dog. Now let's do five on each leg. And start on whichever leg. I'm going to start with my left leg on the ground and my right leg up. Ready, go. One. Two, three, four, five. Let's do the other leg. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Great, that was a hard one too. That's a very difficult balance one, but the more balance exercises we do now, the easier it'll be to do all these soccer workouts in the future. Now we're gonna do some ankle raises. They look like this. 
and we're gonna do 10. Slow and then 10 faster, starting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And 10 faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Now we're gonna work on some drills that are good for running. Let's start off with a jog. Nice and easy, just like this. Make sure we're alternating our arms. And then we're gonna just get into a good pace. And imagine that you're outside. It's a beautiful sunny day. And it's also great that we're indoors because that will make us stronger, faster, and more confident runners when we do go outdoors. We can work on great running form, great movements with our body here indoors. And then let's work on getting some high knees just like this. A nice, good pace. I'll show you what it looks like on the side. And then this side, let's do that for a little bit more. And then let's do some butt kickers. Butt kickers still for a little bit more. Nice, let's take a break. Make sure to get some water if you have some nearby and need it or want it. Nice. Now we're gonna work on some wood choppers. I'll show you what they look like, just like this. It's like we're chopping wood. On the other side, it's another good chest exercise, helps us get a good stretch in. It's also a little bit of a cardio workout too. Let's do five on each side, starting now. One, two, three, four, five, big chops. Let's do five more on the other side. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Nice job. Now we're gonna do some windmills. So we're gonna start with our hands up like this, like a big star, and then rotate our right arm down to the opposite foot, our left foot, just like this. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. Left arm, left hand, down to the right foot. So we look like a big star and a big windmill at the same time. Let's do this for 10. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Nice shot. Let's do a little bit more jogging and then we'll be doing some stretches and then we'll be done for the day. All right, let's start with some jogging. Again, a nice, easy pace. Working on alternating your arms with your legs. I'll show you what it looks like on the side. a great exercise you can do when you want to let off some energy. Try to have quiet landing on your feet. That'll help you recover a little bit faster for each step. Let's do a few more seconds and let's stop. Let's do some stretches. So lifting our arms up again. Leaning to one side, like a sideways windmill. Reaching up, reaching to the other side. Reaching up again to the sky and the stars. And reaching down. Lifting each side. And lifting back up, hands to our sides. Let's do some touching. Toe exercises, so I'm gonna 
have one leg crossing the other. Reach down towards my toes. If I can touch my toes, great. If not, that's okay too. Reaching down, holding here for a little bit. And then switching over, doing the opposite movement. Reaching down. Slowly lifting back up. Reaching up again. Reaching down and great job today. You did amazing today. We went through all these exercises. Good for soccer, good for swimming, and good for running. Make sure to get some water, get some good rest, and see you next time.